what a day, and welcome back to the 2019 Total BWF World Championships here in St. Jacob's Hall. It's an incredible day here in Basel, Switzerland. Up next, we'll have a men's singles event. Well, we've had some great mixed doubles, women's doubles, men's doubles action. It just took 60 minutes, and Kamara and Sonoda come out on top at the last one. Up next, we have Thomas Rexall, New Orleans runner-up from France against the 2019 Thai Masters winners, Lo Kien Yu from Singapore. Well, here's the draw. We already have Cho Chen Chen from Chinese Taipei through. He's the number two seed. So the winner of this game will be up against Cho Chen Chen. Up top, still undetermined, but we'll have two different countries going through. So it's a big mixture in this bracket. Already into the third round, of 64 draw to start in the men's singles. Well, to come out on court first, we have Thomas Roxel from France. Just head to head, actually, he's up one to zero. It was back in the German Open recently. He lost the first game at 21-18, bounced back 21-16, 21-14. singles is about to get on its way the first day though we had 64 matches here in st jacobs hall yesterday it was a 56 matches there's four courts and today we'll have another 56 ma matches well there's thomas roxel from france 28 years of age from the Rennes, france his highest world ranking was 43 back not too long ago it was this year in may 2019 well, he was a runner-up in New Orleans Masters not too long ago. He won the Polish Open back in 2016. In 2015, he won the Peru International. Well, here's the way that he's reached against Russia. He had a good win yesterday, 21-18, 21-7 in 35 minutes of play. And Lo Ken Yu from Singapore, 22 years of age, 135 centimeters. Originally, though, from Penang, Malaysia, moved to Singapore and is in with their national team. His highest world ranking is current, so he's on great form. It was at the beginning of this year when he won Thailand Masters. He beat Lin Dan, two-time Olympic champion in the semifinals. And the way he got here, he beat Sermer Verma. So the number 10 seed, which was a big upset the other day, 21-15 he lost, and then he won 21-15, 21-10. 61 minutes of play. So taking out Verma was a big win yesterday. And our umpire today is Herman Mir. And Setawan Mahadu. Well, 
lot of exciting matches, but Lowe with a big win yesterday, upsetting the number 10 seed, Verma. India right now has a lot of great men's singles players, great women's singles as well. And the doubles are coming along very strong. But he really came on with good wins at the beginning of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lo King Yu, Singapore. And on my left, Thomas Hassel, France. Thomas Hassel to serve, no ball, play. So it's Thomas Ruxel on the far side in blue from France to get the match on its way. Very strong, powerful player, nice and steady, but it's a man here in the bright pink shirt. Hello, can you? Originally from Malaysia, playing for Singapore now. He had a tremendous win yesterday and on track two for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Well, he has three older brothers growing up. Lo, he great, played briefly when he was younger, but then he kind of got picked on, so he quit for a bit and came back to the sport and really loved it. He improved so quickly. And then at the age of 13, he went to Singapore and had went to the sports school. And uh, ever since then, he's come up the ranks. 345 kilometers per hour on that. Three, one. Nice snap just at the body. Lowe's speed and power three, three. is also able to take the pace off of that one. Watch around the head. Three. It was nicely oh. placed. Very smart placement by the youngster. He just cuts over it. Makes him go to the distance to the net. Oh. Service over. Four, three. sure if it's coming over or not and went straight up straight Five. down I thought it Three. was on his side oh my goodness it came oh. over well got away with that oh. at five oh. to three <laughs> Seven, four. next time I'm sure four. he's gonna pound it though Five. at the net well low oh. all you can do is smile and shake it off he was a runner-up at the Hyderabad Open Lost to Saurabh Verma from India. And then the Russian Open, he was also the runner-up to Five. another Super oh. 100. But it was a Thailand Masters that was a Super 300. And as mentioned, he beat Lin Dan. It was 21-19, 21-18 in the final there. But he started winning tournaments back in 2014. He won oh. the Singapore International.
watch Lowe's racket too. He'll hold it to the last second. So he does have a lot of deception, but he's very strong at the back. He has hard drives, he defends, he counterattacks so well. Sometimes he's up and down, and that's gonna be experience along the way. He'll cut down on the mistakes, but he's strong, hard drive, that fast pace, he likes it fast. A big hammer that time from Thomas. Eight, five. Roxo, watch, he gets up there, puts it down with determination and power. to the same, if you watch Roxo, watch how he cuts his shuttle first, he'll set himself up so it's not hard, he'll, he'll cut and he'll slice, waits for that opportunity to, to use that smash. coming out very strong in the first game, really putting the attack on, mixing up his shots. Six minutes of play. Roxo with 11 to six. Roxo leads away at 11 to 6. Really covering the court well, taking a, advantage of it. Ranked 54 in the world. Her highest world ranking was 43. Back in June at 18. Bruce Levadez from France, who had a withdrawal. He'd be the number one singles from France. And this one shortly behind, well, low coming in fast with a quick snap down. Seven over. Seven, twelve. Watch this, comes in, little stutter step. Strong snap. Fantastic play that time, low coming out on top. Eight, twelve. Nice and low, just skims the net. Oh, oh, we 
rejection at the net that time. Doesn't go his way. Now low, just down by three. Four-point lead, playing well, making low really go the difference side to side. Sure, that's right. We'll ask Thank you to mop up the court when you're diving. It is a little bit texturized. It's a rubber court. We have some wood underlay. It's a good subfloor here in Switzerland. I was talking no. to the no. No. organizer yesterday, Mr. No. Keller. He's very no pleased, so they no have key. a wood underlay, and then you have the mats. The change the shuttle, okay? A little warning, please ask 13. permission before you change not. the shuttle. It's the umpire's choice if you change it or not, so just a little warning. So the mats are a little bit uh, rubberized and grippy, but still, even if you sweat, it, there is, uh, it does get slippery. Shots. Roxel coming out, flying, Ten. watches, gets a lot of height, takes it across. Playing really clever. A lot of hard work. You can hear his heavy breathing as well in between. the legs to come forward afterwards. Sure, 348 kilometers per okay. hour on that smash. Well, Ooh. a little blood maybe or a little scrape on his finger. He's asking for the doctor to come out. As soon as you have blood, they usually tend to it. They either do the spray or put a Band-Aid on. So just a little, you can say rug burn or floor burn on your hand or your knees sometimes as well, your elbows. Nothing serious, but uh, of course it does sting. <laughs> Jason Court, we just had England, the mixed doubles, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith win that game and 21-17. That was a battle, that was a 65-minute match. So they're on to the next round. And yeah, there was a little bit of blood on the ground, so they're disinfecting where he was on the court and get that all cleaned up as well. So they'll disinfect the court surface. Willow very quick at the back. He hits hard. He just has to 
work his way in, but it's not an easy challenge because on the far side, Thomas Rexall really playing well. Yeah, you see his finger. It's when you dive, you have your racket, there's a little blood there on the towel. If you dive and you scrape, you do get uh, your skin will come off, and that's what he has on his baby finger. Trying to stop the bleeding. Usually if you put a Band-Aid on, it usually doesn't last more than a few rallies and then most of the players will get rid of it anyway. So there's a spray that they try to use as well to stop the bleeding. A little pressure. Well, here in St. Jacob Stadium, it's getting quite full. There's 9,000 capacity here. They play a tennis tournament as well, the men's ATP. And of course, the legend Roger Federer is from Basel and has played quite a bit. And there you see how his finger hits the ground on that one and just slides across the, the mat. And, that, and that's where you get that, that burn and the loss of skin. So coming from training in Calgary as well, it was very dry. So a lot of times you get cracked fingers when you're playing. And even though these are the smallest cracks, they would sometimes wake you up in the middle of the night because they, they actually throb in your fingers, believe it or not. So even though it looks little, it's actually the pain. Not enough pain to stop at all by any means, but uh, Get a little lemon on that later on when you're squirting it into your water. I tell you, it will definitely sting. In the past, I've even probably not recommended, but super glued some of my, the cracks on my fingers just because of the pain and it wouldn't go away and it would take so long. So not recommended to do, but I think some of the players will use super glue to, to get the cracks. I know even Artie Warinata, the silver medalist from 92 Olympics, he's based in Calgary coaching, and he would always complain about it to all these little ones, and then he'd just go and tap his finger, and <laughs> ouch. <laughs> That's kind of mean, but uh, kind of funny at the same time. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of skin missing there. And again, to even put tape on it, it usually doesn't last very long. And you're holding your, your grip, especially in badminton, you're moving your grip quite a bit. You'll watch the players, they move up and down the racket. And even the, the slightest, sometimes if the tape's not on properly, um, again, sometimes even the electrical tape is, is smooth that you can use and it doesn't stick as much as, as Band-Aids. Ruxell was on a roll as well. It's a five point lead, 15-10. He's really mixing it up his game. He has good power in his smash. Over 300 kilometers an hour. Watch this huge smash. That's where the damage is done. The second one, there it is, the blood right away. You can see it. it's this one right here. He hits the ground, scrapes it on the ground as well. So just disinfecting all the areas, make sure the blood is all taken care of. This is when you have to be mentally tough as well. You had this warm up, you're here at least an hour before time, getting ready mentally and physically. Anything can happen, so you have to be prepared. There's two warm up courts right behind this big curtain. They're, they're good warm up courts. Same kind of atmosphere as the main court, so nice and high ceilings. You get ready to go, nice, nice and warm and hot, and you 
Get a two-minute warm-up on court, and then you're flying out there. Now it's a break. So now you want to keep focused mentally and physically. You want to get going again. So I'm sure they're going to, after this long break, I'm sure they're going to have each other hitting back and forth for a little bit. Usually injury breaks, it, they're really, really quick. They don't allow very long. You're not even allowed to tape up for your ankle or anything. It's, it's not like other sports. You have to stay on, maybe a little bit of spray, and that's it. But because there's blood involved, there's a different situation now, so it's up to the umpire and the referee, of course. But as soon as there's blood involved, they have to deal with that situation. So in badminton, it's continuous play most of the time. You get the two-minute break in between the matches, but that's the longest break that we would ever have in badminton. So this is actually quite unusual. Now you have to see how it feels with the racket. I'm sure some players play with the towel grip, which you see. Thomas using out there on court. You can put some powder on as well and soften it up. I've never used the towel grip myself. It does help a little bit with the sweat. But sometimes it also gets hard and I just never really like that feeling. So I'm with the regular tacky kind of grip over grip. Thank you. And it looks like Low uses that one as well. Just a tacky over grip. Well, after a big injury break on that one, but again, it was because blood was involved in it. So back on court at 15 to 10. Sure. Little bouncing around, 15. get your feet going again. 10. Get the engine revving. Play. All right, 21 minutes. Roxelle to serve. It's a 15 10. To low, can you? Perfectly placed shot. Set the over. The momentum coming in. Nice and high, nice and fast. 11, 15. in a row after the injury. Now make it four. Well, that seems to be going. 14, 15. Low can use way, watch out. A little revved up after that. So 16, finally 14. getting a point after that injury break. Again, takes a cross. One side to the other. That's how he's mixing up his shots as well. Well, 
a short one. Two points in the row now 14. for Thomas Roxell. Puts it to the ground. It was a short lift and, and Well, there was a big upset in the men's doubles on an adjacent court. You heard the screams. It was because Germany is a border town here of Basel. And it was a German duo in the men's doubles. Lamfus and Sedel beat the number five seeds, Endo and Watanabe from Japan. Oh, what a get, oh! but puts it away. Lowe trying to work his way back into it. Barely gets it back on that. Spin around, a dance move. But not enough to get to the next. 22 shot rally. Thank you. Players back on court. Great net play by both these players. Seven Tried seven. to send it to the back to Roxelle a little bit too 16, much and out the back. 18. But a lot of the time, that's where the men's singles would be. One is at the net. You want to try to get the net spins and get the short lift. Both of them have a very powerful play. Great brush, quick to the net. 17. 18. Roxel looks up and sees if he went over the net. It's umpire's call, but uh, no, that was clearly on low side. Watch out, low pounces 18. to the net. Oh. A 23 shot rally. Okay. Loose on that return, look how low that was. Way too low when he's up there. A poor return at the net and low takes advantage. 23 shots again, it's 18 apiece. Okay. Yeah, it's tough, but when you're that, when you're that late on that return, you have to send it right to the back, especially. But he's so close. Oh, awesome smash. Roxel comes out on top on that one. 19, 18. The power play sends it down. I'll take it. Now up by one. Follow my ears. Play. Play left. Well, that was called. So was it ready? So the umpire says, please get ready faster. You can't move, though. It's up. If you do move, you, you could actually be called a fault in, in a quick point. So a little bit risky sometimes because it's up to the umpire. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was better though. He played a good net. He had to send it to the back. You can just see Lowe creeping in, waiting for that next net shot. So that was smart from Roxel to put it back Grazie. to the back of the court game on that. Point. Now it's Eight game two. point. Again, a powerful line, smash Thomas, straight also, down the line. Low couldn't get that one back. Confirmation of the score after 30 minutes of play. It's 21-18. Well, back on court after the opening game, France took the first game. Thomas Ruxell, 21-18 after 30 minutes of play. Well, it was low. Can you almost coming back to finish it up, but to, not quite. There is a pounce. That's what he does so well. Watch out. He's like a cat coming to the net. He just pounces on it. Watch this. Power in the legs, a spring and a step. Puts it to the ground. Well, you heard from Molio, his coach, a very, very excellent coach. He was in India for two years, but he's originally from Indonesia, and he was Taufik Hidiyat's coach for many, many years. Taufik Hidiyat won the 2004 Olympic Games and the 2005 World Championships. One of the strongest backhands of all time and tricky shots from Indonesia. So now spending his time in Singapore as a coach there. Watch that tumble, just hits the net too. It's hard to do because it's not close to the net. You change the variety of where it comes to the net. So you have to adjust as well. So beautifully placed. Superb smash right back in the deep corner. Three, Awesome placement. Oh. Well done that time. Thomas Roxell finally gets on the board. It's one to three. One, three. Again, both of these players are power players. When it goes up, it comes down pretty quick.
Actually, always mixing up the angles of the smashes. Both these players are playing extremely smart. It's not a bad shot. She is to the back though, but it's not always, they hit hard, but if you can change that angle as well, always get your opponent guessing and, and just, it works so well. Singapore. Again, Tofu Kiriat. One of the greatest Indonesian badminton players oh. and uh, love the style of play. One of the, my favorite play, people to play. I actually got to play on a team event with him in the States, which was quite fun. Also fun to play doubles Five. on the same court as him. So back at five apiece here at Roxall wins the first game at 21-18. Oh. oh, what a smash, and that's the angle I'm ta talking about. It's not always steep angles. If you, you get Six. steep, you get used to it, but that flat smash right to the baseline. Look at it, awesome placement. Solo says, I wasn't ready yet, but that's the oh. second time in this match that he's done that, so I'm sure the next time uh, the umpire might uh, make a bigger point, point of it as well. But as Roxel, that's really mixing up his shots. If you watch him play, he's mixing them up, mixing the angle, cutting some of them. When it's not there, he's sending it to the middle. So the angles aren't there as well when he's caught. Well played, nice and strong and clever out there. Thanks for the court. And you see Lowe, he's so quick coming to the net. You see that he's, you know, just taking that extra step in and uh, Rux, Thomas Ruxell realizes that and then he lifts it to the back. So he's not going to challenge him right now at the net because I think Lowe will come out on top in the. Like that. Oh, barely gets it back. Another one out the side. And saying that he can't totally stop playing the net, but he has to be careful because he is kind of 
cheating in a little bit extra. So make sure Lowe's very quick on his feet. There it is again. See how he does that extra step coming into the net? So it's good to put him back. And then if he adjusts, then open it up with the net. Quick shot that time, Lowe comes out on top. Has him reaching there, barely gets it back. Not fast enough to come back in to play. Hello, can you? Had an injury in the first I game can. after diving. Play he had a break at 15-10 and then came back to 15-14. Got pretty close. And then Thomas Rexall able to win the first game. 21-18. Well, runner up of the New Orleans Masters, or Orleans Masters, not New Orleans, Orleans Masters earlier this year. Nine, six. And it was last year at the Italian International he reached the final as well. Oh, fabulous play. Comes in nice and high at the net, Eight, the powerful legs. Nine. The spring to a step, nice and high, just takes a pace, tumbles it over. Excellent Come placement. On. Now on. just down by one point. Come on. Put the hand on the side. Put the hand on the I think that was going out, got a chance, came in, a little surprise. Oh. Now leveled at nine apiece. Oh. Low settling in. He's thinking here. Huge hey, win oh. at the Thailand Masters, beat Lin Dan, the two-time Olympic champion. Five-time world champion in the final. Nicely placed that time, just cuts over it. Almost not quite enough. Thank you. Today's back and forth. 42 minutes so far in this men's singles, but we did have an injury break and there was some blood from low, so that uh, took a little bit longer than normal. It's where he fell on the ground. There's quite a bit of sweat left over, so a little mop up. Well, they have played each other just one time, and that was at the German Open Thank you. in February of this year. It was in the qualification, actually, and Thomas Roxell beat low. Okay. He lost the first game 21-18, and then won 21-16, 21-14. That took just over an hour, an hour and seven minutes, so a long match. Well, that added pressure, and again, it was low when he was about to hit that net shot. So that little added pressure, it sends it into the net. Low picking up the pace a little. Singapore in the lead by two points at the break. After 44 minutes of play. Confirmation, 11-9 in the second. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, a little adjustment in the shoes, a little tie up afterwards. Some players uh, like their shoes nice and snug. You'll see some of them even tying them up right before their step on court. 11, 9, play. Well, the man in orange on the far side, low, loses the first game 18-21, and now leading in the second, 11-9 to Roxel from France. And there's another beautiful shot. Again, a good mix-up. He is a powerful player from the back, so a good mix-up. It's not always about the smash. See how he turns his racket at the last second? He just turns it nice and quick. Fantastic placement. Explosive coming into the net very quick now. Watch. Comes up right at the body, barely gets it back. And then that's enough. Puts it to the ground. 14 at 9. Definitely be trying to use his cuts a little bit more, his drop shots. Well, he has a powerful smash. He likes to play fast, that's the thing, but now he's trying to think, work a different game into it because Thomas Ruxo was playing so well to start. So mixing up his shots now. Well, that time a good setup for the smash, but again, it's his drop shots, the cuts that he uses right now. For his opportunity, power to the cross. Thank you, Langer. Players back to the court. Well, a little warning. You have to be quicker when she pulls you back 16. on court, so a little bit of a warning on, on his, but uh, Lowe got away with a few earlier, so. Oh. 
And a few mistakes out the side. Now with an eight point lead, it's 10 18. to 18. Okay. Tried to take that cross a little bit too much and out the side. Now low. Turning on the engine. Again, Nine finding the deep okay. and getting on attack. Well, a miss hit, and this time Thomas Luxell gets off ten. that 10 mark. Well, 15 minutes in this game. And an easy one out the side. This is where you can't let it slip away. You have a big lead. You got there for a reason. You have to keep focused. Thirteen. Another easy point. Waited for that four. opening again, using his 20. smashes when Daniel. it counts. 13. Gets him on the backhand, takes a quick one cross. 20, game point 13. one on the backhand, kind of got game. twisted. He knew the game was gone. Seven game, won by Liu Qing Yu, 21-13. One game, all. Watch this, a wild one out the side, but that's okay. That was pretty much gone. So, wins the second game, 21-13 in the second. When you me. the final game of the men's singles. Thomas Ruxell wins the first game 21-18. Lo Kinyu wins.
wins the second game at 21-13. The third and final game is on court number two. Oh. The winner of this will go up against Cho Chin Chen from Chinese Taipei. Oh. He's the number two seeds here oh. at the 2019 Total oh. BWF World Championships. Well, we're in Basel, Switzerland. It borders Germany and France. And on the far side, Roxo. Tennis over. Has some nearby fans watching today. Redirected that one and out the side. Another mistake. We saw from both of these players the little mistakes that creep in, the forced ones. It's okay when you make a forced air, but when the unforced airs come, they really hurt. Another one out the side. These are the mistakes that I was trying to say. It's 3-3 three, three now. Both players really wanting this game. They're pl both playing well. They both have similar style. They hit hard. They come in fast. Low really quick to the net. And Thomas Raquel, Ruxell with the big smashes from the back as well. was unsighted, so there will be no challenges, but we are going to see for Hawkeye to make the decision. So if the lines person, if they can't see it, they'll say call unsighted, and then we have Hawkeye to do the decision, and which will be out. Out. That is over. Thank you, Hawkeye. Although Four, Thomas Roxo might not say thank you. <laughs> Always good to have the right decision, so the players do like it. So giving away these points back and forth, though, at least Four, they're both doing it for oh. each other. There's the shuttlecock. It's a little ruffled. They seem to be flying at a good speed, though. Usually, if, oh. once you hit a few times, they slow down. But right now, it's uh, they, they seem to fly pretty well. Well, you are tired. You're in the third game after 58 minutes of play. And this is when you need to think. It, it's You're so tired, you need to think. It, it, because he, they weren't making these mistakes at the beginning. So yes, you're a little tired. You think a bit more, you reach up a little more. It's hard work. Oh, what a get! Oh, incredible! Low thought it was over, but it wasn't. Well done. Watch this shot. He thought it was over, pounces on the net, goes over the head, not quite there. 
He slides and through the back. The center point. Five apiece now. Thank you. What a rally. Thomas Ruxo comes out on top on that one. A little luck gets his racket on it. Five. Now going to all the corners, punishing each other around the court. Oh! I'm gonna have a challenge too. I think by the angle Thomas of that one, it might have been oh, a hard one to see, in. but a little bit of a break anyway. The call was in, but Thomas Ruxell puts his hand up right away. Yeah, might as well have a challenge. You're allowed two unsuccessful challenges per game. Wow. Wow. Can't get any closer than that, but challenge the call is in. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. I would say that would be a good one to challenge anyway. It was worth the try. It was so close. Five. Good call by the lines person. Play. Oh. 306 miles per hour is the fastest clocked shot. That's over 400 oh! kilometers. So it's so fast to see when it hits the ground. Seven, five, okay. A short lift, no chance on that. Seven to five. Well, the winner will go up against okay. Cho Chin Chen, the very powerful, the number two in the world from Chinese Taipei. Well, this men's singles hey. action is very entertaining. Kento Momota won it last year, the first time for Japan in the men's singles. And you have Chen Long, the number three seed. Jonathan Christie from Indonesia, the number four. And Anders Antonsen as well. So very exciting time for the men's singles. It's a wide open draw for the taking. King. 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 Show him that one. Well, both these players after 62 minutes of play. Thank you, Lane. Thank you. We're making the court rather wet and slippery. A lot of diving up and down, fast motions. Badminton has it all. Reflex, touch, Eight, endurance, four. power, and finesse. Four. Shot from low. No. Very impressive. And watch this. He gets behind it, just cuts over. That's what we've seen earlier. Perfect position. That went into the net. Thomas Six, Russell nine. would like a few more points before going into the switch at 11. They switch sides in the third game. So six, nine. Oh. Out the side. Over. Ten, six. Oh. Oh. Eleven, well, low. Six. 
interval. Up and in. into the interval. Watch this net play. Nice, easy. Puts it to the net. Just out of reach. And into the break. At 11-6. Low. Picked up the pace. Change of side. After 12 minutes in the third, it's 11-6. Low in the lead. Thomas Ruxo on the near side went, won the first game at 21-18 and then low bounced back in the second 21-13. Low is winning in the third 11 to 6 after 66 minutes of play. Oh! Tried for the net shot. Unsuccessful. Five, six. Quite enough, and Low will take it. Now, six points up. So! Another one out the back. 13, six. and steady. In the forehand corner. There's going to be a challenge right off the bat. You challenges the call, call was out. out, but I think it was well in. Let's take a look. Really reaching on that one, snaps it so quick. The linesman calls it out low, puts his hand up right away. Let me challenge it. Correction E. Well, he keeps his challenge. So a good challenge to be had. It happens so quick. If you just 15. flick your eye sometimes, it's hard to see. Seven. So now, low with an eight point lead. Play. Well, 
winning it at the net. Definitely low comes out on top. Now 16-8 in the third. Lowe's definitely quick coming to the net. That's what I would do. Send him to the back first to start. Fabulous rally, takes it to the back again. Oh man, Thomas Rexall comes out on top of that one. A superb rally, 35 shot rally, just skims in it. Goes over. Just smiles, what can I do? After 71 minutes of play, the punishing 71 minutes, corner to corner. No, no, no. A quick towel break, but I kind of wanted a sip of water. Sneaks one in there. The heart's pounding. Hey. Well done. Seven sold. Seventeen. Ten. Lowe's power smash takes it straight that time. Superb angle. Watch how he leaps through the air. That's what it means. Well, he played it low. If you watch how he, he's there, and then he waits that little second longer, and very dangerous against low. Oh. Fantastic oh. shot, takes that pace off of it. Can he come back? Never say die. 72 minute mark right now. Really nice shot. He just waits for it, takes that paints, drops it down. when you do that. And you watch how his racket yeah. is. He comes up nice and high and quick. He has a few things he can do. See, even though it hurts, come up nice and high, cuts under it, places it to the net. Awesome play. 19-11, make it 20, match point, point. 20-11, match point. Low yeah. with the hammer at the body, Reed at the shoulder. Tough one to defend. It's match point. 74 minutes. Another one straight down the line. And there you have it. Lo Can You pulls it off in three fantastic games. A huge smash going straight. A scream in delight on it, his hands and knees. Looking you He's in 18, to the next round 21, of the World 20, Championships. 21, well 21, done. Yeah. Here's confirmation of the score. 
loses the first game 21-18 against Roxell, playing superbly. 21-13 in the second, and then pulls the third and final one off. 21-11. Next up is Cho Chin Chen in the draw, the number two seeds. Well, next up is a woman's singles. It's Wendy Chen from Australia against USA Bei Wen Zhang. That'll be a great game up next. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm Charmaine Reed, and I'm going to hand you over to Paul Hand with the mic. Thanks for now.